Miss Grinty, you are appearing for interview on which date and in which place? What is your degree? Um, I'm appearing on uh, November 8th in Trivandrum. And my degree is uh, I've done my integrated master's in life science and MBA in HR. Integrated master's in life science. Which university did you do? Bhargad University, Coimbatore. Coimbatore, achha, achha. So in which subject were you very much interested of the two, three subjects you studied? Um, in MBA or my MSc? MSc. Uh, I would say um, biology and uh, there was um, anatomy and... Uh, Biology, anatomy, and there was. So, anatomy means what? Yes, sir. Anatomy is the um, study of uh, structure and organization of organisms, including plants and animals. Achha, achha. You are it's studying based... about plants and animals. I thought you are going to tell about skeleton and all that. <laughs> oh, no, it's just a basic, <laughs> not yeah. deep into the subject. He has just a subject. So now in MBA, what did you study? So MBA, I had HR marketing sales, um, entrepreneurship and innovation, uh, financial management. Um, yeah. Which university did you study? My MBA is from uh, University of Pasadena. It's a foreign university, Hawaii, USA. How many years degree is that? Uh, it's entirely five years, both uh, MSc and MBA. It's uh, completely integrated. Oh. So you have received a degree from um, the foreign university also? Yes. Acha. In the foreign university, did you attend classes through internet or you went to that place for training? No, it is completely regular. Uh, our college had tie up with the university. So exams was online, but the rest of the classes were uh, completely regular. Classes were conducted by our own college people or from by yes, foreign, yes. By no, no, our no, own no. college? Our own, yeah, Indian, Indian professors only. Achha, we used to have good. guest lectures from foreigners, but uh, mostly the professors were Indians. Achha, good. Now, hmm, it is run by Bharatiya University. It is in collaboration with Bharatiya University. Yeah. Oh, something new. I have not heard about it. How many students studied in that? Uh, my batch uh, had uh, around 20 in a batch. Mm -hmm. What is the fees like? Uh, since it's a private institution, the fees comes around uh, per semester comes around one one point five lakhs. How many semesters? Four semesters? No, ten semesters. No, it was five years. Ten semesters. Oh, Baba, that means you paid fifteen lakhs for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, with all my education, higher education, the MSc and MBA is combined. So yeah, fifteen lakhs. Oh, such a huge sum. Which is your favorite subject in MBA? HR. Achha. Oh, good. What are the qualities required for successful HR manager? Um, good communication skills, obviously. And um, there should be a sympathetic attitude. Person should be able to um, make quick decisions, should be patient, should be having a formal authority. And they should be having a leadership uh, quality where uh, they can delegate and communicate strongly with the employees. And they should be having a good emotional intelligence where they can uh, where they be able to read uh, their employees and understand or uh, foresee the situations going to happen. And they should also have good negotiation skills where they should be able to find compromises uh, that will benefit the company as well as the employee. And uh, they should be able to adapt 
uh, to changes and flexible should be plus flexible to the company uh, methods and structures good now please tell me what is emotional intelligence in what way is it relevant for our office work situation so emotional intelligence uh, it's a very important skill for a human resource professional they should be able to understand and manage their own emotions as well as the employees they work with in a workplace it is uh, a very critical uh, component that plays in a healthy work environment and it is mainly uh, beneficial to build relationship because they can empathize with the employees as well as if they are dealing with customers they will be able to build strong relationship and uh, it will help them to resolve conflicts where uh, you understand the other person's feeling and they can be easily mediated to resolve uh, the conflicts and it creates a positive work environment for uh, um, our colleagues as well as the management and it handles challenges and it helps to make better decisions where we can assess the candidates um, skills and talents whether we can check the person is really fit with the company culture is bhagavad gita um bhagavad gita is um a scripture a vedic scripture um in the hindu religion it is dated to i believe a second or first century and um it um it teaches i believe one can kill only the body and the soul is immortal that's the one thing i remember from bhagavad gita right now supposing you want to relate it bhagavad gita and the management what points will you remember i think you are not prepared for this but i don't know why oh, this okay. question came to my mind please prepare then oh, also okay. have you heard about tirukural yes sir it's a tamil scripture Hmm. what do you know about tirukural uh, it's written by tiruvallur and hmm. um, and it's, it's it's a tamil uh, classic text uh, it's come can you it, it talk can of... you talk on tirukural and management oh okay you please so prepare a... on this topic also tirukural okay, okay. has got all the concepts of management given Mm-hmm. incorporated in it is there they are telling idanai idanal ivan mudikum endraindu adanai avan kon vidal that is identify who is capable of doing the work and entrust the work to that person like that please study do a google research on bhagavad okay. gita and management and um Tiru Kural and management, Tiru Kural and uh, management, Quran and management, okay. Bible okay. and management. Mm-hmm. From that angle, you can prepare and be ready. Okay. What is transactional analysis? Um, Have you heard this theory? Uh, yes, I believe I studied during uh, my higher education. um i think it is um, a theory that helps to understand and interact with uh, people with each other and uh, it helps to understand relationships and it is a basic um, basis of good communication and to improve personal interpersonal skills who is the author of this theory I'm sorry, I am not able to recall. What are the concepts involved in that? Um, It tells about three ego states: parent ego state, I yes yes, um, then child ego state, adult ego state, yeah. and majority of our transactions right now, what is happening is adult ego state. I am in adult ego state, trying to tell you a concept. you are unless you are in adult ego state you cannot understand what i am telling yes whereas 
A parent ego state is a state of mind which we decide based on our thought principles, whatever our four, our predecessors have told us. They are based on those principles. There can be two types of parent ego state, nurturing parent and critical parent. And coming to the third ego state, it is known as child ego state, which tells most about the way we behave when we are angry, when we are happy, like that, those situations. And in the case of interpersonal relationship, we must be able to identify the ego state of the person with whom we are interacting and then correspond with the proper ego state in our mind so that we are able to make parallel transactions and see our objects are achieved. Okay. Which bank are you having an account? A federal bank. Achha? Which branch? In my hometown. Is this the answer? I'm sorry, sir. More to... Achha. Now, when did you visit the branch last time? I think it was a year ago. For what purpose did you visit the branch? Um, I was uh, available. I was able to avail a credit card, and uh, it came to my home. But uh, there were some issues with the delivery, so I had to talk to the manager in the branch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Correct. Please tell about that branch. Um, okay. It's a federal bank in Moatura East. And um, it. Uh, Please visit that branch tomorrow. Try to I'm know sorry, not this year, right? Okay. You are not in that place. Uh, no, no, I'm in Trivandrum right now. Oh, I'm Thank giving you. my interview in Trivandrum. So you have you have moved to Trivandrum now because um no yeah. no because I'm a studies I'm here my interview oh. I've uh, my cent I got my center in Trivandrum. Mm. What do you know about Federal Bank? Uh, Federal Bank is one of the lead um bank private banking in India. It's founded by Mr. K P Hormus and headquartered in Alua, Kerala. It has around 1,537 outlets and over 1,434 ATMs across India with over 1.85 crore happy customers. And the current CEO is Mr. KVS Money. And uh, it is a preferred banking partner for uh, personal and RIM business for good expansive customers, both in urban and rural areas. With the tagline, your perfect banking partner, and um, with various products ranging from deposits and uh, loans to digital apps like uh, FedMobile, FedBook, and uh, collaborations with fintech fintech companies like FI and uh, Paisa Bazaar, One One Card, etc. They have a good um, place in the digital platform, and uh, their vision to be the most admired bank which focuses on interest and expectations of the customers. And recently, the quarterly report has been uh, released and the total business has uh, registered has been registered as 4.99 lakhs crore, which is the um, highest that is ever recorded. And it denotes an um, increase of 17.3% um, from the previous quarter. And uh, the total deposits have been increased by 15.5%. And uh, the operating profit is around uh, 1,565 crores. That means uh, an 18.2% increase. And um, the 18 total increase. 18.2% increase year on year basis, not on based okay. on last quarter. Okay. That means last year quarter, what was the figure? This year quarter, what is the figure? Okay. Continue. Yeah. 
and uh, coming towards the CSR activities, um, the Sanjeevni campaign has been uh, going into the third year, which is a, ca a campaign for cancer treatment. They have been collaborating with Tata Trust and um, other few hospitals to provide good treatment for patients. And then there is a Fedbag uh, Hormuz Memorial Foundation Scholarship for higher uh, studies for students in need of financial help from um, underprivileged backgrounds. And um, we have been providing CSR activities uh, in education sector and healthcare sector as well, providing AI labs and RO water purifiers, etc. And uh, coming to awards and accolades, we have been recognized as uh, coming under top 30 few future ready workplaces in India by Fortune India and uh, um, and uh, Mr. Shyam Srinivasan, the CEO, he has been awarded the Dhanam Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to banking. Um, yeah, that's it. Hello? Can you tell me the name of five chief ministers of Kerala? Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> five chief ministers. So, current chief minister is Mr. Pinarai Vijayan. And um, the previous uh, chief minister from uh, um, 2000. Um, I'm sorry, I'm able to recall. Can you tell me the name of five union ministers and their cabinets. Yes, sir. Um, she, Rajnath Singh, Ministry of Defense. Uh, she, Amit Shah, Ministry of Home Affairs and Cooperation. Uh, Dr. S. Jai Shankar, Ministry of External Affairs. Srimati Narmala Sitaraman, Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs. And uh, Sri Piyush Goyal, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Yes. This job involves more of marketing. How can you fit into this role? What is your father? My father is a retired government employee. Mother? Uh, she's a banker. Which bank? She is currently working as a senior manager in a cooperative bank in our hometown, Madhura. Achha. So, yeah. senior manager. Is she working in administrative office or in branch office? She is working in the main branch. Main branch. Achha, achha. What is the nature of work she is doing every day? Did you talk to her? Uh, yeah, I have talked to her. Uh, nature of work, she she is working as a branch head right now. And uh, she... she Please talk with, to her. Uh, Please, no, no. Yes, I know sir. you have not had a full discussion. Please talk yeah. to her. This question will come definitely for you. Another okay. question for you. What is the difference between cooperative banks and commercial banks? Then, so cooperative the cooperation minister. Come again? Who is the cooperation minister? Uh, yeah, okay. So You have to prepare for these questions. You are ready with answers? Yeah, I can tell you the difference. Yeah. Okay, so commercial banks are uh, uh, leading banks with um, one second. So commercial bank uh, is a financial institution where uh, they accept deposits from the public and gives loans. They are governed by um, shareholders and stakeholders. Uh, whereas a co cooperative bank is a financial institution created by a group of individuals um, to help the financial needs of a certain community. So the members are elected uh, in the democratically in the society, whereas in the commercial banks, the members are stakeholders and directors. And um, coming to um, the work, work or operations, um, commercial banks get more deposits, so their interest rate will be less and more people in deposit the money uh, in them, but cooperative bank is more into rural uh, enhance, enhancement of an empowerment of the community that's situated around the bank. So the interest rate is obviously high compared to other commercial banks because they're getting very less deposits. But uh, the time duration to 
um, to the documentation and everything, it's very less compared to commercial banks. Yeah. No, no, you should tell that um, cooperative banks, they deal with their own members who are the okay. owners. Whereas banks deal with their customers and they are not the owners. The okay. commercial banks, they try to open branches more in urban branch areas and semi-urban areas and uh, metropolitan. And their effort is to make more business and more profit in turn. Whereas cooperative banks, they concentrate on their lo specified locality and okay. they try to bank with their own customers and for the upliftment of them by giving agricultural loans and corporate uh, MSME loans and these things. Something like that you can tell. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please tell. How do you imagine yourself five years from now? Uh, okay, if I get into this position in the bank, um, I would be completing my uh, preparation in two years. And I'll be, if my performance is really good, I'll be promoted as assistant manager. And... Um, if my work is really going well, I would like to um, work in the HR department and to promote uh, yeah, to hire. I am I'm prefer I prefer to work in HR, and I would like to take up an advanced leadership role if it is possible, and I would like to um, get into a position where. Uh, my work and my performance what are the, is appreciated. What are the what are the risks in our in working in bank? Okay, risks definitely there will be work pressure, and uh, since there is uh, money involved, there will be financial risk, and you know, customers doing broad business and uh, defaulting loans. And uh, that can create uh, immense pressure on the employees. And uh, they should be in constant monitoring to, make, to remove these losses. And uh, there is operational risk where uh, errors and uh, failures and mistakes can happen. Because um, if something happens with money, it is going to have a huge financial loss, personal and the company. And uh, obviously, there is... Expand NEFT. Yes. Okay. Uh, National Electronic Fund stands for. Expand RTGS. Uh, Real-time growth settlement. Expand ECGC. Um... UCGC, um, Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India. Corporation. Good. Expand DICGC. DICGC, um, I think from... Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation. Yes, yes. Up to what extent they give guarantee for bank deposits? You don't know? Five lakhs. Uh, these, thing, oh. these things are there in banking related questions. You can read them. Okay. Then what is CBS? The core banking system. Yeah, good. Then what is the expansion of NPCI? Uh, National Payment Corporation of India. Who is the MD of that? It's headed by uh, Mr. Dilip Ashpe. Correct. Good. Which organization is supervising the capital market? Uh, cap 
capital market is um, supervised by SEBI. Correct. Who is the chairman of that? Uh, SEBI chairman uh, um, Madhuri Butch. Madhabi Puri Butch. Madhabi Puri Butch. Okay. Who is the chairman? Last question. Who is the chairman of IRDAI? Um, I'm not. I do not know. Mr. Debasish Panda. Okay. Very good. Best wishes. We'll meet next time afterwards. You are uh -huh. a prospective.